Hey guys, it's your boy Assess here and I'm coming at y'all with a fucking banger, man. I'm coming at y'all with getting super drunk at 13. But before I get into it, man, HBO special. Your boy's been on the grind like a skater, so help a brother out. Well, actually, I haven't been on the grind, but you know, I always gotta say the intro. Sorry for the lack of uploads, man. I've been busy. Like I said, man, I uploaded how many videos, how many bangers for a straight couple days. So, you know, I had to take a little break. I'm not gonna lie with you, because I'd rather upload quality than quantity so without any further ado let's just get into today's video huh why don't we ladies and gentlemen i'm actually pretty hype i'm actually pretty hype about uh this one today sorry my phone just rang i'm pretty hype about this one today because this is actually a really really good story that i've been wanting to remake but i just haven't had the chance to remake it because one i forgot about it and two i actually got refreshed on more details and actually can you know tell the story today so without any further ado let's get into today's story so this story takes place when like i said i was 13 and right now, I'm 20 years old, so you can obviously do the math. I ain't gonna do the math, because I'm shit at math. I don't even, I can't even do the math on video. I'm, I'm too smack for that. So, you know, this story takes place when I was 13. And at this point, I was hanging out with my brother's best friend, Justin, all right? And my brother's best friend, Justin, man, I've made so many videos about this guy, because this dude is a freaking trooper. And just recently, I got his number, so, hey. Hey, let's connect, Just. You know what I'm saying? I texted him, but he ain't hit me back. But hey, let's connect, Just. I know he watches my videos, you know what I'm saying? Because I've talked about the channel many, many times. So hopefully, Justin, you're watching this one because this is a banger. So, you know, this video, man, we were just chilling, man. It was just a normal hangout on a Friday after school. Because that was always the way with hangout. I, do, I get nostalgia even just telling this, man. I could tell you guys a million stories about these hangouts at Justin's house because they always got very, very crazy, right? And this was one at our house because, you know, they used to, uh, we used to hang out at our house first because, you know, we didn't have the car yet. And, you know, we're going to get into that now. So what happened is we were still in high school and shit. Like, my brother, like, he didn't have his car yet and he was about to get his car. And I was too young. So we had to ask his mom, I asked our mom, to go get Justin from his house. And the weird thing about it is, I'm not even making this shit up. Justin literally lived on the other side of the freaking city. Like, we literally lived on, like, literally, like, the border of the city from the other side of the city. And he lived on the other side. So, no joke, it was a 15-minute drive in the same city. It, it was so stupid, right? But, you know, we pull up on Justin, right? And Justin has this rocky-ass driveway, okay, man? This dude has no driveway. Like, I, I try to go in there my little CRZ, man. Hey, put up a picture right now. And, you know, that thing is low stock, so, hey, you can get stuck. But, you know, my mom put up in her little Mitsubishi Allen, because we had at the time a big-ass SUV. So we, we pull in, we get Justin, we dip out. And, actually, before we I, I say we dip out, dude, Justin's family, hey, they were breadwinners, man. Like, they actually had, like, a couple RVs running out there. But, you know, this wasn't that point. But I just had to throw that part in there because, you know, hey, hey, man, adventure capital. I don't know if I'm using that word right, hey. It don't even matter. So, you know, we get back to my house, and this is kind of where the story kind of gets crazy, all right? So, before I even get to the drunk story, right, I had to tell this kind of funny story that is actually in the same day. I actually had to talk to Justin about this whenever I saw him and got his number about this, okay? So, this, this fucking story happens right before this other story. And so, you know, we were hanging out at my house and shit, and we were having a good-ass time, because the thing about Justin is he honestly got along with everybody. Like, I'm not making that shit up. Justin was honestly a cool dude to hang out with with the family. He was just, he was just chill with everybody, all right? So, you know, we were chilling there, and um, the main thing we do with Justin is we would honestly get all the TVs downstairs into the living room and just all play PS3 games in there. That, that was literally just the, the vibe in there. My brother and Justin would literally just come on over and suck up the Wi-Fi. I remember that my parents would literally get so pissed off about that shit because they would just come in and the Wi-Fi would be ass, you know, mad as hell. So, you know, this particular day we were playing on the basketball hoop, and I've talked about this in the previous videos before, but I never really got into detail about it because, you know, this basketball hoop is infamous, so it needs its own little, you know, clarification and its own little thing because this basketball hoop, man, all right. So we had this little basketball hoop in our backyard, and no messed up stuff. I'm not, I'm not hating on my parents, but they got this concrete thing done by some Hispanics. And I'm not hating on them. You know, I ain't going to say the exact race because I could start a whole race war in the comments. But the reason I throw that in is, you know, my dad kept, you know, nudging on the thing that they were Hispanics and they knew what they were doing. So whenever it got done, dude, this, 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 this shit was actually uneven. No joke. Like, it was an uneven uh, back little patio thing. The, the grass and the stuff didn't match very well. So, dude, I sprained my ankle so many times out there just landing. So, you know, we had the basketball hoop out there, and it was a very, very tight squeeze. I'm not going to lie with you. So, we were out there just playing basketball, and our backyard had one of those little lights with the glass thing around it. And so, me and Justin were just out there playing uh, 21. And the thing is, my brother was actually getting changed because, you know, me, me and my brother, me and Justin, we didn't give a freak. You know, we just changed our shoes, and, hey, we were ready to hoop. My brother, he had to change all into his gym clothes and stuff, which I kind of get now as an adult. But, you know, me and Justin, we're just being rowdy, okay? We're just being rowdy. 
So we're out there just messing around shooting. And the thing is, is the basketball hoop was faced like directly away from the house. And so Justin shoots the ball and it hits the glass side. And the second he hits it, it knocks it loose. And all here is a cling. We just sit there and we're just like, wow. And the funny thing is, is right when that happened, actually is when mom left to go get some groceries. So my brother just sees that and he's like, what the freak? Like he came out instantly. I don't know how he heard that and came out instantly. My brother was like a video game. But he came out instantly. And he was like, what the freak, man? And that's really what he said at the time. I'm not making that up. And I was like, oh, man, uh, it wasn't me. He's like, what are y'all doing? Like, bro, y'all just get over here like 10, 20 minutes ago, and y'all y'all doing this crap? Like, what's going on, man? So, you know, on to the next part of the video, the getting drunk at 13. I just wanted to throw that part in because I thought it was pretty hilarious, you know, that we used to hoop back there, you know, and we messed up the light, okay? It, it was pretty dumb. So, you know, on to the, the actually getting drunk at 13 part of the story. Hold on, let me actually uh, plug in my little laptop. Hold on. Okay, and before y'all say, oh, x you're recording on a laptop. I've said it in many videos before, man. I, I've owned MacBooks my whole life, man. You know, hey, shout out to parents, man. Hey, hey, mom and daddy's money. I'll keep it real. The MacBooks hit, all right? This MacBook, though, hey, we went half and half on the thing, okay? So, you know, this MacBook, hey, it hits. So, me hitting on the MacBook. So back onto the story, okay? Sorry, sorry about that, because I know I know everybody's gonna be hating on me about MacBooks in the comments, okay? But back onto the story, right? So what ended up happening was, right, is we just end up chilling out. This particular night, I remember my parents ordered some pizza, so you know they were feeling really, really, you know, generous. And that's one thing I liked about my parents is whenever uh, Justin and them would come over, is they would actually give us pizza sometimes. You know, if we actually convinced them a little bit, because I'm not gonna lie, it wasn't a very, very common occurrence. But if we did convince them, you know, the right way, say it the right way on the right day, hey, we was getting some Pizza Hut. And, hey, my boy Justin, bro, I could have a whole dang story about this, but this dude was like a billy goat, because this dude could eat, eat, eat. Like, my parents used to have a meme about it, because when we were young, me and Justin used to eat, but Justin used to just throw down. Like, this boy used to, whew, like the billy goat cartoon, just eat, eat, eat all damn day. And so, you know, we're just chilling out after eating the pizza. And I remember my brother used to go sleep hella early. I remember even when we used to hang out with Justin, he used to go sleep hella early. Like, I'm like, bro, this is your friend. He's like, oh, well, I'm tired. So, you know, he went to sleep, right? That's a lot of Subaru. But he um, went to sleep, right? And, you know, we're out there just, you know, chilling. And one thing about my parents' house, and I am I hate to, uh, you know, uh, snitch on my parents to a certain extent, but I'm not really snitching on them because, you know, we, we broke in there, okay? Because it's not snitching on them, but you know what I'm saying. I'm just going to say it, okay? But my parents used to have an alcohol cabinet, a cabinet with a lock on it, right? And the thing is, it was one of those cabinet locks that we knew how to bypass without even um, breaking off the combination lock. Like, I forgot how we used to do it. Like, it was a weird way, way of getting it. But we used to literally just open this thing up, right, and kind of, you know, get into it. I'm not, I'm not really saying a lot because I don't want YouTube being like, oh, 13 drinking, and, they, and the parents let them. Like, no, 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 no. We actually broke into this thing. But I I can't really say too much on the details because that, that's that's one of the things I can't say on this channel, okay? One of the things I just cannot because, you know, that's underage drinking, all right, man? And I don't want to turn my parents in a bad light. But, you know, we're, we're just in there, and we end up grabbing a couple bottles of Jack Daniels and a passion fruit drink. And the reason I say a couple bottles, it was like a Jack Daniels regular, a Jack Daniels honey, and I forgot the other one because I'm not very big in alcohol. That's one thing I'm gonna say a lot in these videos. Not not very big in alcohol, okay, man. I I really just you know smoke me some gas, you know what I'm saying. That's just how I am. But you know we're, we're just grabbing some of that alcohol. I remember Justin used to throw down with the alcohol. My parents didn't know that. <laughs> My parents did not know that. But either way, we were just kind of in there chilling out, taking shot after shot. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what happened this night, but I was just like. You know, I've never been seriously drunk before, so let's let's actually do this thing, you know what I'm saying? I actually really wanted to do this thing. So I remember this particular night, man, we just kept going and going and going, right? And actually, before I continue, man, let me let me get a little hydration, man, because I ain't gonna lie, my mouth is a little dry. Hey, take a little water sip with me, ladies and gentlemen. Cheers. Mic test, one, two, three, mic test. So, you know, we're just in the room just... Chilling the freak out, right? And honestly, the alcohol didn't hit me yet. And that's one thing I never understood when I was young is alcohol kind of had like a, like a, like a kind of like a, what's the word I'm looking for? A come up. There we go. It had a come up to it. And I didn't understand it as a little kid. So, you know, you know, me being a dumbass is I kept drinking because I didn't feel nothing. I was like, bro, I'm, I'm feeling warm, but I'm not feeling all the way drunk, right? Like, I feel warm, but not all the way drunk. So I was like, let's, let's just get to it. You know what I'm saying? So we just keep going in there, right? And me and Justin just keep throwing down. And the thing is, right, Justin tapped out because, honestly, this boy fell asleep. But the thing is, right, is he fell asleep. And guess what I did? I woke the book up. Woke the book up. Woke the boy up and woke him up to start drinking. Justin had a big habit like this. And I know a lot of my videos, I know I said this in a lot of videos before. Justin just, he could hang, but 
honestly, he was the type of dude like, hey, man, if I'm just chilling there, I'll just fall asleep. Like, hey, Justin was just that homie, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I like Justin, though. I have many more stories about that, okay? I have many, many more stories about that. But, you know, we're just in there, and we're, I get him up, and I'm like, hey, man, come on. Come on, let's get, get more messed up. And he's like, he says it just like this, and he's like, dude, I'm already sus, man. And just in that cadence, too, man, like in that exact wordage, bro. But the thing is with that, right, is, hey, he still went in there and drank with me. Hey, Justin was a goddamn trooper. I mean, give this man the, the trophy of the year, man. Hey, I might as well throw him a dang parade. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Let's walk through the downtown for him because this dude kept going, okay? So what ended up happening, right, is that we were just in there just chilling, having a good time. And the thing is, when you're having a good time, the alcohol tastes like water. And that's that's another thing that I heard before I got drunk that I really wanted to imitate. That It's messed up saying that as a 13-year-old, but hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey. We were just trying to get messed up that night, okay? So we ended just having a good time, and we took a couple more shots at the Jack Daniels, and honestly, man, I'm not gonna lie, we actually finished the Jack Daniels, and that shit was kind of crazy. I'm like, oh my god, we just, we finished my parents' alcohol, and honestly, they noticed, but not even until, like, years later, which is pretty crazy when you think about it. But what happened was, right, it's like, we, we bust out the passion fruit, you know, I, I, I talk about the passion fruit, and I, I ain't bring it up. Yeah, I ain't bring it up, ladies and gentlemen. So, you know, we're just in there, right, and we just sipping on the passion fruit. But like I said, man, Justin just kind of stopped sipping, so I, I kept kind of sipping on the bottle, having a really, really good old time, and A, it hit me, all right? I walked back into the game room, right? Because I said in many videos before, but I never specified, my room had a game room and a living room because the game room had a closed door, and then we had a living room that's in the open area, which is one thing I liked about my, I love my parents' house about it, you know, that's, I love my parents' house, it's, it's a pretty nice house, all right? But you know, they had that game room, and I second I get in there, man, honestly, man, I, I never been this drunk, honestly, and Honestly, maybe like only like one or two times I've been this drunk because honestly I don't drink like that because it just never it never came to me like that. And also I drink pretty shitty alcohol, so you know obviously I felt like shit for that reason. But you know, <laughs> but you know I'm in there just chilling, right? And I go into the room and I literally honestly I just fall on the floor, but I'm not knocked out. I just fall on the floor and I start getting on my phone. And Justin doesn't realize how messed up I am. I, I don't think Justin really realized how messed up I was because he was in there playing. Oh, I'm trying to remember what he was playing. Come on. I think he was playing Blur at the time. I know I know all my racing homies know what Blur is. Underrated as game. I say underrated, but actually within the last couple years, it actually blew up in popularity. But my boy Justin was a low-key sleeper with all the games because my boy Justin was actually really cool, bro. He used to go to GameStop and buy games on the deal and just try them out. And this was one of those games that, hey, it was a pretty damn cool game. I'm like, bro, there's like, you know me, I'm a, I'm a car fiend. I said that means to be this before. But, you know, a, a race car game, hey. A A X Lessy approves. So you know, I'm just in there, right? And I'm, I'm I'm on my phone, right? And the reason I bring that up, right, is I'm just chilling on my phone, right? And I look to my left, right, and I see him racing. And I remember this very, very specifically, right? It's a BMW M3, like I think it's like the, I don't want to be specific. I think it's like the, it's the E30 generation. If I'm being very correct, like, I I don't want to butcher it. I don't want to. I think it's the E30 E46 generation. I don't remember which generation it is exactly. But I put a video, uh, a photo up on screen. And I got a lot of photos to put up on screen today. It don't matter though, quality video. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? I look over and I'm just like. Whoa, bro, I'm really messed up because the car was dark blue and it just really stood out to me, man I don't know what it is about that BMW, man But I was just watching them because the, t the TV setup in my uh, parents house was just immaculate So the, the car sounded loud, you know, it was a, a nice insulated room So it just sounded honestly quite amazing that that V8 song the, the the game the game had a really really good sound to it I mean shout out to developers of blur. I don't know the exact name of developers, but shout out to them. Okay So, you know, I'm just in there and I'm just like Dude, I'm really fucked up. And he's like, oh, no, I, I, me too, man. But like I said, he doesn't realize. So I get on my phone, man. And it, and this is literally, like, involuntary. But this is right before I blacked out, okay, ladies and gentlemen? Right before I blacked out. But what ended up happening was, right, is I'm just in there. And I start scrolling through Instagram. I don't know what came over me. I'm not making this stuff up. Like, it sounds like I'm making this stuff up. But I guess the alcohol hit me because I'm very young. But I was just scrolling through Instagram. And I saw X. And I kind of just sit there and started like, oh, damn, bro. I miss her, bro. And he's just kind of like... Oh, I get it, man, but I'm like, I keep keep going on with it, and I keep digging and digging about it, and I keep scrolling through Instagram, right? And every time I see a girl, I just comment on it. And that's one very specific thing I, I, I stood about me to the night, okay? Y'all can call me whatever y'all want, but hey, your boy was sauced up, and he saw his exes, eh. That, that, that alcohol hit him, man, eh. You know what they say, every girl's hot at 3 a.m., you know what I'm saying? That I, I really understood that at that, that very moment, okay? So, you know, I'm just in there, right? And I'm really messed up, right? I, I didn't realize it. So I go out, serious, um, out to the game room, right? And my downstairs area is a big circle. So no lie, I was so messed up, right? I start walking in circles. And I'm just like, ah, am I really that messed up? And I, I start walking more and I'm like, dude, I'm really fucked up. Oh my God. 
So, you know, I go to Justin, I'm like, hey, man, let, let's go upstairs and, like, chill out in my room. Because Justin had a really bad habit of sleeping downstairs. And my parents hated that shit. Because that boy used to, like, no offense to Justin, but he used to be a little musty. He sleep with his mouth open. And, hey, it's the, it's the family gamer, man. Get, get the hell on out of there, right? <clears throat> so we get to my room, right? And it's something that I remember very vividly. And, and, and I don't keep saying that, but a lot of these stories, I, I like to ask details about them so I can remember very, very good s- details, you know what I'm saying? So I asked Justin about this, okay? So we get to my room, and remember this very specifically, right? We're watching some Simpsons, right? And this is kind of like when the whole pirating wave started on uh, YouTube, okay? This is right when it was kind of like not really as uh, low-key as it was now. Like back then, dude, it was just straight up titles and videos. Hey, nobody cared, right? So we're just in there chilling in my room, right? And honestly, Justin falls asleep. And the thing is, right, is he falls asleep, right? But I'm still kind of in like an alcohol haze, just chilling in my room, right? But I knock the hell out. I knock out, right? And I wake up with the worst nausea in my entire freaking life. Like, no matter which way I moved, I just, I wanted to yak, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it, it was that bad. So I go straight to the bathroom, right? And I crank on the um, dang old fan. And one thing I like about my house is it has really loud fans. So you could be in here and fuck, you could, you could be in there fucking a bitch. But you couldn't hear, okay? I I, I want to I hate to say that, but eh, you gotta give some kind of specific detail, okay, ladies and gentlemen. So you know, I'm in the bathroom and I'm just kind of yakking it up. I'm not gonna lie, like I was yakking up some brown shit, some black shit. Like I honestly thought I was dying. I didn't realize it was alcohol, but I thought I was dying. So I go to Justin and he actually didn't have a hangover like me. So you know, they he ends up getting taken home, right? In this particular day, I remember my parents actually wanted me to go with them to my grandma's house or something like that because I remember now because I remember I actually got in trouble at school. My mom's punishment was to me go with my grandma and my mom anywhere they go and I can't be in that house alone. So what ended up happening was, right, is I go with my mom to my grandma's house, right? And honestly, the hangover still hit me, but she, nobody knew. So I go out there, right? And I said this in many stories before, but my grandma, A, she, she, she clutched on the Sprites, okay? She clutched on the Sprites, okay? So what ended up happening was, right, is I take a sip of the Sprite, dude, and holy moly, man, that, that combination with my stomach, man, Honestly, man, thank God my grandma just freshly moved into this apartment because her fan's shit now. But at this point, thank the Lord because I was in there yakking up a storm. And this weak ass told it, guess what? It, t- it took three flushes. Like, come on, man. It was just yak. It wasn't even nothing like bad or anything like, you know, horrible. It was just, it was just some throw up. But if y'all enjoyed this story, man, leave a like, comment, subscribe, man. I've been wanting to tell story for a long time because it was in my privates, but I wanted to retell it just for the comedic value and also because. I can tell it better now. But if you have any similar stories, man, or any hangover stories, man, leave them in the comments below, man. This has been a banger to tell, man. Peace, boys, success. signing out.